Lucas UK. Right here we have our our main machine, it's called the Ultima Mammoth. It features four of the latest NVIDIA GTX 680 graphics cards, which are all fully water-cooled. Also, in this we have the brand new OCZ Vertex 4 solid state drives, which are stuck here. It's powered with 16 gigs of Corsair dominated GT memory, running at 2133 megahertz. And it's a full custom water cool. So when we overclock it, we get a nice cool computer. So here we're benching the uh, Ultima Mammoth. Uh, we have Heaven benchmarking software. Uh, we're just basically focusing on the frames per second that you can get out of the four GTX 680s in the machine. Uh, at the moment it's on demo mode, but what we will be doing is benchmarking it. Uh, so we'll be stress testing it through DirectX 11 uh, and getting the result of how fast the graphics cards can actually perform. Okay, so the iFi card is just a standard SD card in size and shape. Um, the main thing that's different about it is that it's got Wi-Fi technology inside it. So you can use it in any camera which has got an SD slot. So it just slots into any uh, visual camera or audio camera. Uh, yeah, visual camera as well, so you can send video on it as well. And what it does is, is you take a still image. Image is then sent to a device which you've already set it up with. So the card comes with a bit of software which you set up on your computer. You can then calibrate devices to that bit of software. So you can add tablets, uh, PCs, Macs, phones, TV screens, anything that's just got Wi Fi capabilities can receive the images you can send to. So if we just check on here, it should be picking up the card in a minute and then it'll start sending the image across. The transfer time varies on the size of the file, so if you're using a raw file it'll be a lot longer, if you're using a video file it'll be longer again. And then you can transfer the images in two different ways. The way that we've just done here is direct mode, so that's making a link between the camera and the device itself with using no internet connection. Or you can use it over internet connection and a local network and it sends it between any network that is already set up. That's a lot quicker. Dirt Frog for uh, Dirt Studios. Uh, I'm working on one of the levels that we're going to be using in our game, uh, Die Consequences, which is a sequel to uh, sequel gameplay to the book uh, Set Up Chaos. Uh, what I'm doing right now, I am uh, kismet and, and setting up one of the, the rooms in this level. Uh, the all the rooms in the level, the level is basically uh, waves of mobs. Uh, each room you go into, you get trapped, and then it will spawn uh, a sequence of mobs that come at you in waves, um, and you'll be trapped in, in the room uh, by, say, it's, uh, a chaos wall. Uh, this is what I'm just uh, rearranging right now to make sure the player cannot get out whatsoever, so there's no gaps that you can get out from. And um, after I've been doing that, I'll be uh, using Kismet to uh, actually. Uh, hide it, or I'm going to flip below the level and then um, with Kismet I'll flip it raise up. So as you uh, play his trick point, sets the trap off, um, the soul will spin up and uh, trap the player in the room. Then the mobs will spawn under from usually from underneath the ground. So. Hi, my name's Scott, this is the 3XS Swordfish from Scan Computers. As you can see, we've got a triple screen uh, line up here. This machine consists of an EVGA SRT mob. Dual Xeons overclock to 5 gigahertz. It has dual loop radiators, pump and reservoirs. It's an absolute killer. It's got the latest NVIDIA GTS 680s in SLI. Nothing is comparable. Okay, so if we wanted to, uh, if I wanted to buy this system, what would be the sort of price range and what would be the extras that I might be able to get with it? You're looking around twenty thousand pounds for this configuration as it is at the moment. It's completely configurable. Um, you can choose colour. You can actually change the shape of the desk. All we need is a phone call from the customer, glitter it through all the different design aspects of it, and work with anything. Hi, I'm Tom from Sony Mobile and we just want to show you very quickly the new Xperia S smartphone. So this is the first Sony branded smartphone to be delivered from us and it's a beautiful bit of kit. We've got the transparent bar, the, the NXT design series from us and uh, what Sony are great at is screen technologies and cameras. So the Xperia S is no exception. 
This product has a 4.3 inch high definition display and it's powered by Sony's Bravia technology. So you are getting a perfect clear picture. All the colors are as they should be. White is white, blue is blue, green is green. And it delivers a fantastic picture and, and ratio of contrast and balance. Perfect for media on the go, watching videos and all those kind of bits. So as well as the high def screen, and as a high def front facing camera for video calling, the back obviously has a 12 megapixel sensor for still pictures with Sony's XMRR technology. Um, we also have 1080p video recording and also HDMI out as well. So the HDMI cable actually comes in the box with the Xperia S as well. Now I've also show you one thing very quickly. The camera is superior as well because it's incredibly fast. From standby, even without unlocking the product, all we have to do is just push and hold the camera button and within the second half it'll take our picture. So it makes it incredibly quick and easy to use camera phone. So it is powered by Android. Um, it's running on gingerbread and we'll have the ice cream sandwich update ready for it very, very soon. It's very, very fast with the 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor on board. And it's great for gaming. Because this is a PlayStation certified product, which means we can go into the PlayStation store and download PlayStation classics and uh, essential titles such as Rayman, Driver, Wipeout and Twisted Metal, just to name a few. And the great thing about, to, about this is we can play on the go using the touchscreen or if we're at home we can plug into the TV using the HDMI and all of the Sony smartphones have the software to enable USB devices such as game pads or, or keyboards and mice. So with it plugged into the TV, it almost becomes a, a micro console or PC in itself. So this is a very unique product, this. It is a watch that uses Bluetooth, and it pairs up to your Android smartphone or tablet. And the idea is, is it is a watch first and foremost. You've got a touch OLED display for showing you all of your Facebook messages, your Twitter messages, your texts, all of these kind of things. And you can even get applications from the Android market. Now, one of the great things about it is obviously you can control your music player too. So here is uh, my music player. So if I'm wearing my headphones, I can skip tracks and control the volume. And you can see in the background, it even shows you the album covers as well. So if I just go back out, we can even have other little widgets like a, a weather widget for seeing what the weather's like in beautiful sunny England. And then we've got the little app plugins as well. So there's various, various plugins available. It's all controlled from the smartphone. So, I'll just bring you to my smartphone here. We can see my smartwatch is connected. And here it will allow you to control all of your plugins and options. And you can download more as well from Android Market, so just by clicking here. And then, Android Market's very open, so there's, there's a platform for people to develop what they want. And what I like about this is there's some really um, interesting and creative minds out there. So someone's already created an app for this, which is basically a game of tic-tac-toe. So even on our watch, we can sit there and play a little game on our watch. It's just a fun little idea on how to use the technology. As well as all the essentials, such as the music player, the, the Twitter app, the Facebook app, we also have other little bits, such as Find Phone. So if your phone is, is on silent and you've lost it at home, so maybe it's uh, stuck in the sofa or underneath your bed, if you just click Find Phone, then it will force your phone to ring loud, even if it is on silent. Okay, so what we've got is the Seagate GoFlex satellite product, which is effectively a uh, wireless, battery-powered, ultra-portable hard disk drive. It comes in 500 gigabyte capacity today. Uh, and the concept is really an expansion to uh, portable tablet and mobile devices. Uh, the idea is that you load up your content through USB 3, which comes with the product in the box, and then you drag and drop your content via Mac or via PC to the device. It's completely platform agnostic, so there's no issues with compatibility. Then you charge up the device, it takes three hours maximum from zero to full. 
we should be quicker than your tablet device, so it's ready to go when you are. And then you take it with you, and you can stream it to up to eight different client devices. So the idea is it removes the capacity gate with, uh, with a lot of uh, solid state based uh, flash products today, the tablets, the, the iPhones, and the Android phones, etc. Um, and it, it allows you to uh, take all of your content with you. Stop choosing, uh, will I have this, will I have that, which films, which content do I want to see? You can take your whole library with you. Okay, so what I'll do is I've got a, an iPhone here with me. And I'm connected wirelessly. So I'm just streaming a short video of wireless content from an HD channel obviously being downscaled for the for the iPhone and we can support up to eight different clients streaming at any one time for full HD 1080p content now supported on the uh, iPad 3 we support three users maximum and the other five users would be doing lower bandwidth uh, browsing um, lower bandwidth uh, downloads looking at photos looking at um, uh, music files, streaming those. Uh, and the other uh, update for the GoFlex satellite is the path through internet connection. So if you're at a wireless hotspot or if you're at home, you provide your uh, Wi Fi credentials to the GoFlex satellite, and then any of your clients on the satellite has the path through internet connection so they can surf while they're using the content. Hello, my name is Perth Poulter, and I'm a researcher for Nottingham Trent University. Um, we're researching methods for implantation of artificial muscles um, as a replacement for people with facial paralysis following stroke. So we're just demonstrating some of the sensing techniques we're using for, um, for realizing people's facial expressions. So we have Bobby who has a... The idea here is we're, we're sensing the movement of um, different muscles on the face. So following somebody who has a stroke for example, um, the idea is to have an implanted sensor. If, with, if they have um, one-sided facial paralysis, um, we hope to sense the motion on the, the good side of the face and then replicate it using artificial muscles on the paralyzed side, giving back symmetry and, the, and facial expression.